I don't even know what to look for in D-lining, but when I watch him, that's it. it's just like, all right, that's what you need. Look at any championship winner or contender in the NFL, and you're going to notice one thing. They have several bona fide game changers and superstars who can will the team to victory at any given moment. One thing all 32 teams do have in common? There's at least one big game superstar that their GM would refuse to listen to trade calls on. Inquire about this player if you're a rival GM all you want, but you'll just hear the phone hanging up on the other end of the line. So with that, let's dive into every NFL team's most untouchable player right now. Jefferson got behind this ballyhoo defense. Arizona Cardinals, Trey McBride. The Cardinals have arguably the worst roster in all football, so it was hard choosing an untouchable here. Quarterback Kyler Murray certainly is expendable now, and DeAndre Hopkins is long gone. So let's go with tight end Trey McBride, who came into his own on a lowly Cardinals team in 2023. By the end of next year, he could be a top five tight end in football. Atlanta Falcons, Drake London. Kyle Pitts still hasn't come around as advertised, allowing 2022 first-round pick Drake London to step up as the Falcons' lead pass catcher. London surpassed 800 yards receiving in each of his first two seasons with Marcus Mariota, Desmond Ritter, and Taylor Heineke as his QBs. Clearly, London is one above-average QB away from becoming an all-pro level pass catcher. Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson. I mean, come on, was there any doubt on this one? We saw exactly how vulnerable the Ravens were in 2021 and 2022 when Jackson missed 10 games. But when he is under center, Baltimore is a completely different kind of beast. For starters, Jackson has finished no worse than 7-5 and five in a season. The 2019 league MVP doesn't put up the Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen-like passing numbers, but it's mostly because he's way too busy putting up video game-like rushing numbers. Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen. Allen's MVP-like play in the final stretch of 2023 is just another reminder that few players can single-handedly move the needle as much as he does. Even when the injuries around him pile up, Allen just keeps putting on the Superman cape and finding ways to save the day. Allen has honestly built a compelling case for the best QB in football crown, and the Bills are in good hands with him steering the ship. Carolina Panthers, Bryce Young. Young had an awfully disappointing rookie year, but the Panthers don't really have any other untouchable players to qualify for this list. The first overall pick of 2023 still has high upside and will break out if the Panthers get it right with their next coaching hire. Young is undoubtedly Carolina's lone untouchable for now, considering how much they surrendered to the Bears so they could take Young first overall in 2023. Chicago Bears, DJ Moore. You saw just how much the Bears offense improved, Justin Fields especially, following Moore's arrival. Chicago hasn't had an experience explosive pass catcher like Moore since an in-his-prime Brandon Marshall. And that was almost a decade ago now. The Bears have some promising pieces on both sides of the ball, but none of them are as proven nor valuable as Moore. Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow. You saw how much the Bengals cratered in Burrow's 2020 rookie year after he suffered a season-ending injury. Then you saw him take the Bengals to Super Bowl 56 and to another AFC Championship game appearance in 2022. Then you saw the Bengals return to mediocrity when Burrow suffered another season injury in 2023. Since he unfortunately has had to learn twice now that you don't replace a player of his caliber. Cleveland Browns, Miles Garrett. It's no coincidence that the Browns went from longtime losers to annual playoff contenders since Garrett's arrival in 2017. He helped the franchise end an 18-year playoff drought in 2020, then that got them back to the postseason in 2023 despite a rash of injuries to key players on offense. If not Aaron Donald, Garrett might be the best defensive player in football right now. Incredibly, Garrett will likely hit 100 career sacks before his 29th birthday next year. Dallas Cowboys, Micah Parsons. Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Zach Martin all got consideration here, but we ultimately had to go with the one-man wrecking machine that is Micah Parsons. The Cowboys' defense went from mediocre to a top-10 unit three years in a row since his arrival in 2021. Parsons has recorded at least 13 sacks in each of his first three seasons, turning Dallas' defense into one of the NFL's most fierce units. Denver Broncos, Patrick Sertan II. Amid the Broncos' run of never-ending mediocrity, their 2021 first-round pick has emerged as a bona fide franchise cornerstone in Mile High City. It's really easy to overlook the talents of Sertan II, considering how irrelevant his Broncos actually are. But the second-generation NFLer has quickly developed into one of the game's top five cover corners, and very few can match his all-world ball-hawking skills as well. Oh well, at least Denver has one superstar that they can try to build around. Detroit Lions, Aiden Hutchinson. 
The number two overall pick of 2022 has been everything the Lions could have ever asked for. The Michigan kid led the Lions to a surprise nine-win season in 2022 after recording 9.5 sacks. A year later, Hutch led the Lions to their first division title in 30 years. The stat totals aren't Miles Garrett or TJ Watt like yet. But Hutchinson has been a top-tier pass rusher and run stopper since joining the Lions, and it's not a fluke that they turned into a winner once he arrived. Green Bay Packers, Rashawn Gary. If there's one guy the pack should never consider trading, it's star linebacker Rashawn Gary. He is the straw that stirs the drink that is the Packers' defense. The run D and secondary have their issues, but you know, Gary is a menace in the trenches who gets better and better every single year. He's a key reason why this defense hasn't completely evaporated into a bottom five group. Houston Texans, CJ Stroud. The number two pick of 2023 immediately performed like a superstar after arriving in Houston, and Stroud was even in the MVP race before suffering a concussion in week 14. After three straight seasons of four wins or less, the Texans enjoyed a resurgence under the rookie phenom and former Ohio State star. Stroud has single-handedly made the Texans contenders again. Honestly, they owe Carolina a giant thank you for taking Bryce Young first overall. Indianapolis Colts, Quentin Nelson. Offensive linemen in general don't get enough love, but Nelson has been an absolute rock for the Colts since he turned pro in 2018. Notre Dame product is on a Hall of Fame trajectory with three first-team All-Pro nods already on his resume. A fun fact, Nelson only allowed three total sacks over the 2019 to 2021 seasons. Jacksonville Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence. Tigala guided the Jags to the AFC South Division title in his sophomore year and was playing like an MVP in the first half of 2023 before injuries began to pile up. Nonetheless, he has mostly lived up to the billing as a can't-miss prospect as the first overall pick back in 2021. Hopefully 2024 is the year where he can truly, fully, 100% put it all together. Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes. Come on, the best player in the world. Two Super Bowl championships, two Super Bowl MVP awards, and two league MVPs over his first five years. He is the most untouchable player in the game. Pure and simple. All right, moving on. Next. Las Vegas Raiders, Max Crosby. The Raiders' D is devoid of big-time playmakers. That is, except for Max Crosby. The team has been mired in mediocrity for a while now, but it doesn't give us any reason to overlook Crosby's talents. Crosby has been one of football's elite defensive players since his 2019 rookie year. Without him, this not-so-talented unit wouldn't have been a borderline top 10 unit in 2023. Crosby basically is the entire Raiders' defense. Los Angeles Chargers, Justin Herbert. Statistically speaking, a healthy Justin Herbert is basically a top 5 QB every single year. Even with awful coaching, a mediocre offensive line, and a bottom 10 defense at his disposal every year, Herbert just slings it with surgical precision and accuracy. Averaging nearly 280 passing yards per game through your first four seasons? Kid's alright, and the Chargers would easily be a bottom 5 team without him. Los Angeles Rams, Aaron Donald. This was an easy one for us, because Donald is the best defensive player of his generation. There's already a case to be made that he's the best defensive player ever. I mean, hey, no disrespect to Lawrence Taylor. But even in his 30s, Donald remains the golden standard of interior defensive linemen. Like, he's still out there taking over games on his own like few defensive players ever have. So yeah, he ain't leaving the Rams anytime soon. Miami Dolphins, Tyree Kill. Tua Tagovailoa had two solid but not great years as Miami starter in 2020 and 2021, but he really started to play like a true MVP candidate once Tyree Kill arrived via trade with Kansas City in 2022. Hill has asserted himself as the best receiver in the game, not named Justin Jefferson since arriving in South Beach. Mike McDaniel has crafted an explosive offensive juggernaut filled with speedsters. That all starts with the big play abilities and Hall of Fame level play of Hill. Minnesota Vikings, Justin Jefferson. As we just touched base on, Jefferson is the best wide receiver in the game. Three straight seasons of 88 plus receptions and 1,400 plus yards to begin your career? Yes, yeah, sign us up. JJ isn't only Minnesota's most untouchable player, he's probably the most untouchable non-QB player in the game right now. New England Patriots, Christian Gonzalez. Some might be confused by your decision to include Gonzalez on this list, considering he only played four games in his rookie year before suffering a season-ending shoulder injury. But there are a couple of factors here. One, the Patriots have a very lousy roster with no real superstars. And two, Gonzalez is playing like an all-pro court. New Orleans Saints, Chris Olave. 
Most of the Saints' core players carry hefty contracts and plenty of mileage, so you could argue that the Saints should trade them all and just begin a rebuild. But if there's one guy that they should build around, it's Chris Olave. The 2022 first round pick has hit the 70 catch and 1,000 yard marks to begin his career, despite having only mediocre QBs throwing him the football. New York Giants, Andrew Thomas. The Giants O-line fell apart with Thomas missing about half of the 2023 season, which should serve as a testament to just how valuable he is to this otherwise not so talented football team. Thomas emerged as one of the game's top offensive tackles in 2022, garnering a PFF grade of 89.1 while allowing just three sacks on 1,049 snaps. Thomas is a budding superstar in the Meadowlands, and the Giants' other lack of big time players made him a pretty easy choice for this spot. New York Jets, Sauce Gardner. Apologies to Aaron Rodgers, but Sauce is 17 years younger and not in the twilight years of his career. Without question, Gardner is the real untouchable on the Jets roster. Gardner has basically played like Darrell Reeves, Richard Sherman, and Patrick Peterson all in one since his 2022 rookie year. He is the league's top pure shutdown corner and gives the coaching staff something special to build around for years to come. Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen Hurts. This was a tough one because the Eagles are loaded with superstars. But let's also keep in mind how awful the Eagles were in 2020 with Carson Wentz, only to re-emerge as a playoff contender once Hurts became a starter in 2021. Hurts would have won MVP honors in 2022 if he didn't miss three games due to injury, and likely Super Bowl 57 if the refs didn't throw a tacky penalty flag on James Bradbury. When he's on his game, Hurts is a top three QB, easily. He's an elite pocket passer and just as crafty in the ground game. It's only a matter of time until he leads the Eagles to championship glory after coming oh so close last year. Pittsburgh Steelers, TJ Watt. If not Aaron Donald, Nick Bosa, or Miles Garrett, Watt is the best defensive player in the game, so uh, hey, take your pick. Like Garrett, Watt is taking down opposing QBs at an alarming rate. He's basically an annual threat for 20 plus sacks, having hit 22.5 in the 2021 season, by the way. Watt is easily on the Mount Rushmore of untouchable NFL defensive players right now. San Francisco 49ers, Nick Bosa. All right, this one was the toughest. I mean, come on, how do you choose between Bosa, Fred Warner, George Kittle, Trent Williams, Christian McCaffrey, Brandon Ayuk, and the Bo Samuel? But our thinking on this was the 49ers didn't begin to turn it around under Kyle Shanahan until Bosa burst onto the scene in 2019. This team cratered in 2020 when he missed all but two games. Also, he's younger than most of the guys mentioned above. But in Bosa's first three healthy seasons, three AFC Championship games, one Super Bowl appearance, and 43 sacks. If there is one super duper absolutely untouchable on the 49ers roster, it's gotta be Bosa. Seattle Seahawks, DK Metcalf. Devin Witherspoon also got consideration here, but come on, it's hard to go against Seattle's top offensive playmaker here. This freak of nature has been the model of consistency since his 2019 rookie year. Whether it's Russell Wilson, Geno Smith, or Drew Locke throwing it to him, Metcalf just keeps putting up all pro-like numbers. Look, just saying, take him off this team, and the Seattle offense is a bottom 10 unit. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tristan Wirfs. Tom Brady's retirement and Mike Evans' age allows us to settle on arguably the game's best offensive tackle not named Trent Williams. Wirfs has been an absolute beast on Tampa's O-line since they traded up to snag him 13th overall in 2020. It's not a stretch to believe that the Bucs wouldn't have won the Super Bowl without Wirfs' rock-solid performance as Brady's blindside protector for three years. And if not for Wirfs, Baker Mayfield wouldn't have enjoyed such a career revival in 2023. Tennessee Titans, Jeffrey Simmons. We'd have Derrick Henry on here if he was a few years younger, but the hulking defensive tackle has to be the choice here. Simmons is making a compelling case as the third best interior defensive lineman in football. Of course, behind only Chris Jones and Aaron Donald. He doesn't have a whole lot of help on that side of the ball, but Simmons does it all as a pass rusher and five-star run stopper. Washington Commanders, Terry McLaurin. With so many holes and few Pro Bowl caliber guys on the roster, McLaurin was a pretty easy choice for us here. He just keeps putting up steady numbers despite never having an elite QB to throw him the football. McLaurin is practically a gimme for 70 catches and 1,000 yards each year. How he keeps doing it without a solid QB is just beyond us. Now, can Washington just go and please find an above average signal caller to help him for once? But who do you think is the most untouchable player in football right now? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.